Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tatiana and I'll be showing you this look you see right here. It's my everyday makeup look. The only thing that will change is whether or not I want to do eyeshadow or not or the lip color. But other than that, this is what I tend to do every day that I want to do makeup. And if you want to see how I got this look right here, then stay tuned. Okay, first I want to start off by clipping my nasty bangs back. And I'm going to prime my face with the Neutrogena Shine Control. I have extremely oily skin and I hate it. No matter what I try, I feel like my, my makeup just always like slides off by the end of the day. So I like to do my makeup like right before I have to go somewhere so I don't have that issue. Then I'm going to use the Matte and Poreless uh, Fit Me, and my shade is in 322. This is my summer shade because I'm not usually this dark. I get extremely pale in the wintertime. So I'm just going to pour this on my hand. Sometimes I do too much. And I'm going to use a Damp Beauty Blender to put this on. I like to work in sections with this foundation because it does dry very easily. Now when I feel like I have the coverage I would like, like I'm, I'm fine with like like little blemishes like sticking out here or there. I just feel like it makes it look more natural and this is a more of like an everyday look, not I don't wanna look flawless. For my concealer, I use the Instant Age Rewind. Uh, here we go. And my color is in medium. I don't really like the whole super bright under eyes thing on me at least it looks gorgeous on other people but on me like it just looks so weird maybe i'll change my mind but right now i just like to do something only like a couple make maybe one shade lighter or two that looks like two two shades lighter than like my actual like color and i like to really blend it out so it doesn't look as like white on camera it looks super white like this bitch this is bright as hell i don't know once we blend it it'll get better okay so then i just use my same beauty blender but instead of this side i use the pointy side to set my um my under eyes like right away because i get super creasy and i absolutely hate it so i kind of just set my whole eye and i kind of use my um concealer as um primer for my eyelid too sometimes i put um eyeshadow on sometimes i just leave it as like a little color corrector since it is a little darker but today I'm gonna use eyeshadow. All right, there we go. And to even everything out, I do put some on my chin and on my forehead. To set my under eyes, I use the translucent stay matte from Rimmel London and I use the same to um, set my whole entire face because like we said I'm oily and I like to stay matte and I use like pressing motions especially with this foundation I found like when I put it on I find that it transfers on to my brush a lot and so I just like to use patty motion so I don't like the foundation slide around. 
after that, I go onto my brows. I don't finish the rest of my face until I'm done with the brows. I don't know why I do that, but it just works for me. Oh, I'm using uh, the NYX brow pencil in Espresso. There you go. So at first I brush them down. I'm bringing them in closer. And then I brush them slightly up and then I line let me get closer. I'll let your all in my grill them up a little bit and then just line underneath. And then I brush them down. And then I line on top. And then from there, I'll just like fill in the middle very lightly. I already have like pretty bold brows, I guess. Very fortunate to have a base to start off with. I give all the credit to the world for the girls who like start from nothing. Like there's no way I'd be able to do that. Like I'm not talented enough. One brow done. Like it's not much of a difference, but I see the difference. So it matters to me. And so I just do the exact same thing to the other brow. There we go. I don't carve my eyebrows out with like concealer or anything because this is like more of an everyday look and I do not have time for that at all. And so, like I wish I took the time to do that, but nope. Pretty basic over here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Contouring blush and brown bronzing powder and this is what it looks like right here. I think the um, Shade is in Saint Lucia or if that's how you say it. I'm not sure That's what it says on the sticker. So <laughs> hopefully that is it and um, I'm just taking a Sephora big brush. I got it. It was cheap I get I got it in this little set at Sephora and it was on sale. So I was like hell yeah but I wouldn't recommend it, it sheds a lot, but um, since this is more of an everyday look, I'm not going to like contour or anything. I just like to brown my cheeks a little bit, just to add some life into my face and tap up the excess. All the products and brushes I used will be down below. I really hate when people don't do that, but I'm also gonna bronze my temples and my hairline and just do all that nothing like i'm just honestly just doing it anywhere i please like i'm not really into like sculpting anything on like an everyday look it's just not my thing and then for my blush i'm gonna take the becca palette i'm going to use armoretto for my blush for the brush i'm going to use it's the elf complexion brush just tap it in there, tap off the excess because it's extremely pigmented. Just on like the apples on my cheeks and I like bring it back too. I usually go way overboard on my blush because that's the first thing that leaves me. It's usually like what I go heavy on the most because I, I love the look of blush but it just doesn't love me and just leaves. So. That's my life I have to deal with. I'm not gonna highlight just yet. Um, I always save highlighting for last for like the bam. That's when I'm done. For eyeshadow, I just like to keep it simple, especially for like an everyday thing. I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use this Lor the L'Oreal like little quad thing. It's so beaten up. Like I've honestly put this thing through hell like this doesn't even stay on anymore and it's like all cracked and everything it's disgusting I get it okay but I like it and it's oh I guess this is it's for brown eyes I didn't even realize that um, it's the 814 earthscape I like to use a real techniques uh, base shadow brush and I like to use this uh, color right here and I just swirl it around tap off the excess that's a lot. And I just put that in my crease area. I just like to spend a lot of time like blending and maybe looking like I'm not doing anything. 
I, I might not be, but it makes me feel better. But I like, I like this brown because it's like only, it's like really warm and like slightly darker than like my skin tone and it just gives my eye dimension. I just like to do that for like an everyday look, that's fine for me. And since I'm wearing a pinky color today, I'm going to go into my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to use this color right here. I love this color. It's my favorite color out of the whole palette. I'm just going to take this Real Techniques um, Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm gonna slap that, like, this color all over my lid. And I like to use, like, a big brush because I don't care. Like, what happens to it? It's just slapping it on the lid. Literally no rhyme or reason to it. I try to get my makeup done as quickly as possible. Like, I want to look good, and I want to look like I tried, but I don't want to actually try. And if a little bit does get um, into like my crease, I just go back with that brown color from the L'Oreal thing. And I will just use some more on my crease. So I just like to blend it all out so there's no harsh lines. So for my mascara, I got this in um, my Ipsy bag. It's Model Co Power Lash Black Mascara. So I just coat my lashes. Then I take my Maybelline Colossal Volume Masca Mascara. I just use like a second coat, kind of like to separate um, my lashes with it. I just put as many coats as I desire because I don't put false lashes on, partly because I'm not very good at it. And then I'll go on my bottom lashes. Since my eyes are done, I'm going to highlight. I'm going to take a uh, champagne pop from my Becca Jacqueline Hill palette. And I'm going to use um, the e.l.f. small tapered brush and just highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, and then also I will get the the arch of my brow. I'm just gonna use this ugly uh, shadow brush. My little sister actually cut it, so like I don't know why I still keep it, but I do. It's just I don't know. I'm a hoarder, I guess. And I'm gonna like highlight my brow bone with champagne pop, so it all like comes together. For my lips, um, I do like a mauvey look, and so I'm going to use uh, the the NYX lip liner in mauve. I'm going to use that and just line my lips and fill it in. Okay. So then I will set my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Setting Spray. And then I'll just spray everywhere. All right, that completes this look. I hope you guys liked it. It's my first video, and I'll see you guys next time I upload. Bye.